Coming up, we'll be on location at Prosperity Internal Medicine in Fairfax, Virginia, discussing the benefits of weight loss and how it can help reduce the risk of illnesses and extend your life with one of this region's top doctors, Dr. Tassine Mir. Dr. Mir received her medical degree from Wayne State University School of Medicine and is widely recognized as one of this area's top doctors. Dr. Mir, it's a pleasure having you on our program. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Well, we've got a lot to talk about regarding a very important topic, namely weight loss and how it can benefit millions and millions of folks out there because the obesity rate in America has been cited as among the highest in the world, as we all know, and it seems to be continuing to grow at an alarming rate, Dr. Mir. Combine that with the fact that being obese can significantly increase our risk of many health problems, and you have an epidemic on your hands, basically, as a result. And uh, can you please begin by telling us just how prevalent this problem is? Most certainly, and that's an excellent question. They found in 2013 there's over 154 million obese or overweight individuals ages 20 and above. And they've also found that for children, 23.9 million children are considered overweight or obese. And that basically comes to about 30% for children, or two-thirds of adults are considered overweight or obese, which is a serious, serious problem. Those are significant numbers, Dr. Mir. We're talking about a huge percentage of the population. Yes, yes, yes. What are some of the major causes that contribute to people becoming overweight, Dr.? The most obvious answer is people overconsume. They eat too much. They consume more calories than they burn off. And that can be exacerbated by people having a sedentary lifestyle, a desk job, um, not walking enough, using their car too often. The, that's what we commonly think of when we think of um, obesity. But in fact, genetics can play a, a role in obesity. There are certain medical conditions, for instance, hypothyroid, polycystic ovaries, which we find in females, and Cushing's, which can cause obesity. There are some medications which can cause obesity. Um, the more familiar ones are some antidepressants, some seizure medicines, and um, corticosteroids can cause obesity. So definitely um, your lifestyle plays a factor, but you always want to rule out that there, there's no medical conditions which is causing your obesity. And that's the first thing you should do when you have a checkup. Now that leads me to my next question, and that is how do you determine if in fact a patient is obese? Another great question. We determine that based um, on checking one's BMI, which stands for body mass index, and that's where we measure one's body fat based on his or her height and weight. A normal BMI should be between 18 to 24. Overweight is considered 25 to 30, and obesity is when your BMI is greater than 30. And you can, at your, your physician can give you that information, or honestly, you can go online and find your BMI. Mm. Well, that's certainly good to know. So that would determine, based on our BMI number, where we are in the, in the range Correct. of yep. being obese or not. Correct. Now, what types of health risks are associated with obesity? Because I know there are some major health risks yes. associated with it. You know, the ones that most, most of us are familiar with, um, obesity is related to high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, um, coronary artery disease, heart attack, stroke. Um, it's less, there's less public awareness of the um, incidence of obesity related to cancers. For instance, there's um, a higher risk with obesity to certain cancers, specifically breast cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, and ovarian cancer. Um, and there's also, um, it may not be as well known as well, um, infertility. Women actually can have a hard time conceiving if they're too overweight and something called sleep apnea can, um, is directly related to obesity. And we know that's a major problem. Yes, it is. Now, you told us about the types of problems, the health risks associated with obesity, and, and what actually encompasses obesity, who qualifies as someone who's obese, mm -hmm. and how many people, which none of us knew, mm -hmm. uh, how prevalent this problem actually is in America. But with all that being said, I wanted to ask you what are some effective weight loss options, Dr. Mir, that can help us overcome obesity and beat it? Truthfully, there's no magic pill. <clears throat> and if anyone ever tells you that there's a magic pill or a quick fix, it's a gimmick and it's probably not healthy for you. Um, 
there, there's no, it's, it's consumption. You have to watch what you eat and you have to exercise. So that's really the, that's really the two things for weight loss. And to maintain the weight loss, it's the same thing, watching what you eat and exercising. So it comes back to the basics and the fundamentals that have been there since day one. You got it. And instead of the gimmicks that come and go, where we may show a quick weight loss, uh, rapid weight loss, I might say, mm -hmm. only to be followed by a gain of weight that, w that surpasses what we were before the weight loss. Exactly. Now, and not to mention the uh, unhealthy risks uh, associated with those type of uh, treatments that are out there yes. in many cases. Now, can you tell us about your unique approach that you all utilize here at your center? Yes, a um, little bit of history, but when we started this weight loss program, I took it very seriously because the most important thing we have with our patients is their trust. If we've lost their trust, we've lost everything. Yeah. So I took this to heart, and this was something I took, th this meant a lot to me. So I wanted to make sure that what we did worked, was safe, and actually showed results. And I'm, I'm very happy to say we do have that program. It's really, I look at it as two parts. Um, there's the initial part where you lose the weight, and then the more important part is we help you keep the weight off. And I feel like that's where most diets fail. There's no set, our concept of dieting has to change. Keeping weight off is a lifestyle adjustment. It's a lifestyle, it's a, it's a way of life. And that's what we're trying to teach you. So the first part of the program, it's a meal replacement. And then the second part, what we do is we're with you and we transition you to normal food and it's actually a personalized meal program and we, what we do is I'll sit down with a patient, what do you like to eat, what are, your, what, what are your strengths that you like or weaknesses so to speak with food and we work and we get a customized meal plan. So when you're off the quote diet and in the real world you've gained healthy eating habits so the weight stays off. The other thing about our program that makes it unique for the weight loss is we actually teach you how, how to exercise. A lot of people who are substantially overweight are scared to go to the gym or scared to pick up a weight, a, a, weight, a dumbbell or a treadmill. So what we do is we have um, monthly classes and we have a personal trainer come in and we actually teach you how, what exercises to do. You can do them at home or you can do them at a, at a gym, but usually it's at home initially. So that's the other, um, the other thing that that we differentiate is we, it's the total package. We teach you how to lose weight, how to exercise, and how to keep the weight off. That's a total package, absolutely. <laughs> you covered all the three major areas. Thank you. We're now gonna meet some patients of Prosperity Internal Medicine. Didn't do activities with my kids anymore. Uh, my medicals were bad. Uh, you name it, you know, there was a negative as a consequence of my weight. They uh, introduced me uh, to a program that taught me to eat differently and they encouraged me along those lines. And actually it's, it's followed me, you know, these months after completing the program. So they were very encouraging, supportive, uh, and of course, you know, weekly had uh, 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 medical test done to make sure that everything was going okay with the diet. So that was very helpful and reassuring. I swim three times a week, a mile each time. I walk three to four times a week, two miles each time. I, I take vacations where they're active instead of uh, sitting somewhere. Uh, since I started this diet, I've been to Alaska, hunting, camping, hiking, climbing mountains. I mean, it's had a big impact on me. Uh, so it's totally changed my lifestyle uh, from dreading activity to enjoying it. I thought the entire staff was really supportive uh, and very personable. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. They just encouraged you along the way, and I think that's a big part of the success of it. I've struggled with uh weight challenges all my life and uh, the program that Dr. Mir offers here for weight loss uh, is a great solution and kickstart for me to have structure um, and uh, to have a very defined program um, as a mom and a wife and you know two teenage boys and all the juggling sometimes you think about yourself last and um, weight sort of got out of control so I needed to concentrate on me and just have a defined program so um, this weight loss program has has been a great 
you know, it's new for me. I've only been on it a couple weeks now, but I've done great progress and I'm so excited about it. Dr. Mir, who I work with in particular, is very supportive, um, understanding, and I think also being um, a mom herself, um, it really helps to appeal to that. And Lorraine, who is the, the weight loss coordinator, is um, very supportive as well. So it's, the support makes a big difference. It's just been two weeks. I actually weighed in my second week today, and I've lost a little over 11 pounds. So pretty, pretty good start. Very excited. I'm um, excited. I'm uh, motivated now. And I know that this is the structure I really needed. So I'm just excited to keep going. Beyond the aesthetics in terms of wanting to look good, there is the, the health aspect. And as we get older, it becomes more challenging. Um, I definitely have a um, history of, of heart issues in the family. And so I want to get ahead of that and make sure that you know weight can cause a lot of things. And uh, I just want to get the weight in control, both from a health perspective as well as feeling good about myself. So I know that it's, it's a great jump start now, and I'm so excited about what's coming. And I know it'll help all the, the health factors as well. I love this practice. It's uh, a small business mentality. Um, you don't feel like a number. You feel very much um, cared for and valued and that's important to me and for me specifically working with Dr. Mir, um, she appeals to me as a woman, as a mom, um, working person and all the juggling we do and she just makes you feel really you know special and, and again not a number, you feel like uh, she knows you as a patient and so for me that's been awesome, I love the practice. I would just be tired from, from walking uh, just in, any kind of movement, uh, you know, uh, having a lot of weight is, is not a, a good feeling. You, you just feel s real sediment, you, you just sit. Um, so the weight loss definitely helps me uh, uh, be more energetic. Uh, I, I have just a lot more fun with my dogs, my wife, and, and we, we get out a lot more. Well, they not only help you uh, uh, get started into the program, they, they help you understand why why you eat. It's not necessarily that I learned to eat wrong, it's that uh, there are triggers that, uh, that I do that, that I shouldn't respond with food as the reward or as an escape. It's been about six months and uh, I think I'm at about 65 to 70 pounds. Even though I'm being smaller, I'm being full and, and living, living life and, and doing things that I would normally do, uh, taking the stairs up in, you know, at, the, at the parking garage instead of riding the elevator, uh, taking the stairs at work. I mean, it's just things that I wouldn't have thought of doing before. They really work with me on, on getting in and uh, uh, on the time frames that I, I need. Uh, I think they understand me, probably is a good way to put it. Now, what are some of the benefits, Dr. Mir, of your approach compared to the other traditional approaches beyond what we just touched on? Are there other benefits as well? Um, I, the, the main thing is it's customized. Okay. And so we know that you're gonna, it's going to work for you because we look at you as an individual, not a product. And the fact that we also have weekly meetings where we see you every week, so there's accountability. And I think that's important as well. Yeah. If you have good days, if you have bad days, there's this accountability. Um, I think that that's a factor as well. Yeah, that's big. Yeah. You need, that, that reinforces it to us on a weekly basis. Yeah. Now, what would you say is the success rate that you've seen with your unique weight loss approach, which is helping so many folks, as opposed to the normal numbers that people have? To be very honest with you, for those who have followed the program, the success rate is 100%. Everybody does lose weight. Um, but the key is you have to follow the program. And so, for the, like I said, those who have followed the program, it's 100%. So those results are very powerful. We're happy so far. It doesn't get any better than that, <laughs> so actually. So good, thank God. And how long is the weight loss program for? Is this, uh, this lifestyle change mm -hmm. as far as customized solutions regarding what we eat, what we don't eat, coming to weekly meetings. Mm -hmm. How long does one have to stay on it? And I always throw in the disclaimer that I'm sure it varies based on each particular patient mm -hmm. and his or her situation, but in general terms, what is somebody looking at? Great question. As far as commitment. Yes. Generally, and again, like you said, there's, there's always pluses and minuses, leadway, but generally we ask patients to be on the program for at least 12 weeks. 
we have had patients who have been on it longer and some get her on, on it um, less, but on average 12 weeks is what we ask. Mm, that's not too long nope, to lose that. a substantial that's amount that. of weight in a healthy manner. Yeah. See, I think that's the big thing. Yes. From what I found from some of my research is that, and what you've told us here today, is that this is a very effective 100% success rate with folks who follow your program, who stay on that program with their customized meals and the weekly meetings, but the fact that you also do it in a way which is healthy for us and, and also doesn't require a commitment uh, beyond possibly three months says a lot about your program. Thank you, thank you. It's worked out well. Um, what happens is generally the first week is when people have the maximum weight loss and what we found on an average people patients have lost between six to ten pounds the first week. Mm. After that you don't that kind of weight loss is not healthy to yeah. maintain but after that the weight loss is anywhere between two to five pounds a week mm. but it's healthy weight and it's yeah. more than just water weights, which some programs do as well. Yes, that's right. No, that's a great point you made. A lot of people don't differentiate right. or distinguish the fact that uh, some of that initial early bump as far as losing weight is primarily on the water side Correct. as opposed yes. to what the other part, yes. the fat side. Yes. Correct. Now, we're literally out of time, but I wanted to ask you before I let you go, Dr. Meir, you and your practice, Prosperity Internal Medicine, have certainly established a reputation for excellence in successfully helping so many patients lose weight, providing top quality patient care on a very personalized level. I just wanted to ask you, what would you say helps separate you all from many of the others? So not to sound cheesy, but I truly feel like in our practice we care about you. And you are, we, I, I look at all of my patients as a family member and I give them the same respect that I would want my mother, my father, my sister, my children to have. You're not just a number. and. We, we care about you and, and we want to do what's best for you because I want to be able to sleep at night and this is so much more than just a job and it, to me it's an honor that patients actually trust us and like I said that trust is everything and if I ever th that's that, that's everything well on that note I'd like to thank you thank Dr. You. Meir for joining us educating us thank on you. this very successful weight loss program that you have here at your center and being a guest in our program we'd love to have you back on in the future thank you so much I appreciate it it was our thank pleasure you. thank Mine you as well. thank you